Just say that deep rooted psychology. Why, well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is a video covering the subject of Erin or Eve. And I would just meditate on my own DNA. My DNA, I knew that my DNA would tell me everything. Of course! She claims to be a Rothschild, as I've said in previous videos. On this occasion, she claims that her uh, friend, who's also supposedly linked to the Illuminati, uh, basically wants to go to the United Kingdom. Because she may be dying. Oh! But I would say she's scamming people. But then again, on the other side of the coin, perhaps she's scamming the right people. Ooh! I know what's, I know what's gonna come, I know what's gonna happen. If she's doing effectively what is a Kickstarter, a GoFundMe, she's doing the right thing by scamming people who are morons. <laughs> oh yes, this person claims to be a well, part of a chemical flight team, well, former member of, for NASA, and uh, one of the top three Dutch Illuminati. And so, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I rest my case. And, uh, yeah, just to remind you, Eve is a Rothschild. Or Rothschild. I like this little quote here. They have both been whistleblowing about the truth for years. What I know is going to happen, humanity is not ready to hear about. No, they've been in the conspiracy theorist convention community for quite some time. They share their ideas. I wouldn't call it whistleblowing. I would call it bullshit. You need to shut the fuck up. I mean, this is a ridiculous thing. They're saying they came together in September 2017 and decided to break away from the family and left everything behind. Oh my God. It looks like the army. Oh, that's gross. And they have been on the run ever since. Turn your engine off and place your hands How in How about you? And they're not on the run from anything. What are you talking about? You don't know the way. They look like a couple to me. You know, good for them. They're saying it, and they're literally saying it as if they're being tracked down. So they have to move on. So in other words, you have to remain on the move. Do you know what they're probably moving on from? The authorities. Or the tax man. You don't know the way. Now I don't know if her friend, Lithand, is in fact very sick. That could be true. I still don't think that excuses any form of scamming. Anything more to say? She is basically one who has been scamming people for years. She hasn't got any money. That suggests to me that she really should have thought about her finances earlier on. Surely there's better things to do than trying to run away because supposedly the Illuminati are coming for you. Because the fact is, you are not a targeted person. You are not being hunted by the Illuminati. You are not a Rothschild. Oh shit, Sherlock. But also, really, why do they need to go to the UK? They might go over there temporarily. But if she's incredibly ill, she's not going to be able to get the help she needs. If anything, she'll be sent back home, or she won't be suitable to travel to the UK. But of course, if you're going to pay for her to be on Booper or something, or some other private service, that it is possible. But in that sense, why can't you simply send the money over to the United States, where they already live? You also say, this will be their final destination. And the idea of not being at peace, not having a place to call home, or even, <laughs> even their own identity. Yeah, they've lied about their identities for years. And also, they ran away from home. You made that very clear in this GoFundMe. I'm going to tell you how much they've managed to raise. They've managed to get five pounds in donations. I have my doubts that they're going to reach their 9,000 pound goal. There's no reason to assume that they would actually go to the UK. But you know what? If that person needs that help, maybe some people should give. But maybe it should be the conspiracy theorists who believe that Erin, or Eve, or whatever she calls herself nowadays, is in fact a interdimensional reptilian, uh, well, part reptilian Illuminati Anunnaki descendant who's the Rothschild, her brother's a Rockefeller who has grown in Area 51, and she has certain special abilities because of her genetic bloodline, and when she was a child, she used to spend time knocking around in the Pentagon 
with her father because they're overseeing the military industrial complex. If you believe all of that, give as much as you like. My nigga, you just got roasted! Yeah. Which is really interesting.